Welcome to Encore Live. I'm your host, Robin Bell. With us now is Joe Meckler, Technical Specialist Manager with Avery Denison Performance Tapes. Now, Joe is here to introduce us to the technical specialists and extended team who support you with research and new product development when you need it. Welcome to Encore Live, Joe. It's great having you with us here today. Yeah, thanks, Robin. Happy to be here. So to get us started, would you tell us a, uh, about yourself and your role with Avery Denison Performance Tapes? Sure. Um, yeah, so I'm a chemical engineer by training. Um, I started my journey here with Avery Denison about eight years ago, a little over eight years ago. I uh, came in as an R&D engineer in the product development team, uh, and I've been in the product development group for uh, the entirety of the eight years. Uh, about two years ago, uh, the last two years, I've been uh, in the role of technical specialist manager, um, and we'll get into kind of what that means and what that looks like uh, in the next few slides. Uh, but really, for me personally, it's been exciting to to be a part of that role. Uh, it gave me a chance to kind of pop my head outside the lab a little bit, a little away from the bench top, and uh, be able to talk more with customers. So. Um, I'm, I'm excited to kind of talk to you guys today about the R&D group, the product development group as a whole, um, and be able to share with you, you know, some of the, some of the things we can offer to you guys uh, moving forward from a product development standpoint. Yeah, and this is uh, what we're getting ready to talk about here, I think is very important information for our viewers. So you've got a deep bench of team members that have specific areas of focus. Can you introduce us to your extended team of technical specialists? Yeah, for sure. Uh, before I go through and kind of one by one introduce uh, you guys to the team, I just want to kind of highlight the focus, um, you know, along with our beyond bonding strategy, um, a little bit about what the goal of our team is. So, uh, you know, we have five engineers that you'll see on the screen here. Uh, their, their main focus and overarching goal is to support you guys as customers. Um, and they do that in several different ways. Some of the main ways are uh, on site and virtual consultations, uh, training, which I think we'll talk about a little bit later. Uh, product recommendations for, uh, you know, applications that you may have. Uh, and then they also work pretty heavily on new product development as well, which uh, which we'll get into. Um, so starting at the top there, uh, we have Rob Hart. Um, he's been with Avery Dennison for about 25 years. Um, started out on the coder, moved into the finishing, and now he's kind of our, on our team. He's supporting the transportation and general industrial area. Um, so he really brings a really uh, unique uh, part to the team. Uh, just he's he's been there, done that. He knows coding. He knows finishing uh, in and out. So uh, he's really versatile and helpful. Uh, and then you'll see on the right there, we've I've added uh, there's some functional focus areas that each member of the team has as well. Uh, Rob's is uh, Avery Dennison Divisional Liaison. It's a fancy word. All that really means is um, he is uh, very plugged in with the rest of the organization. So. Um, uh, he doesn't just know tapes. He doesn't know the context of tapes. He knows the graphics division, our performance polymers division, our reflected division. So uh, if we need to tap into any of the, the contacts around the, the greater Avery Dennis organization, um, he's, he's the perfect contact for that. Uh, next up, we have Abby Holloway. Uh, she's uh, one of the newest members of the team. She's leading our print packaging and general converter segments. Um, so if you are happen to be a general converter, um, she will you, likely be the one that, that helps you guys out. Um, and Abby, did you... Sounds like you're cutting out a little bit there. Well, it's Thursday, we've got some technical issues. So we see Abby Holloway, you're talking about Abby, we just lost Joe, print packaging and general converters. Um, Jenna Miles, EV battery, automotive CMP. Uh, if we can get uh, Joe back, we'll we'll continue on with, oh, there he is. Oh, sorry, I, I think my internet went, I don't know where I, don't know where I lost you. Have, you were just starting to tell us about Abby Holloway and, um, and uh, you can take it from there. Okay, sorry. Yeah, so a Abby's a little bit new to the team. Um, she is uh, doing our print packaging and general converter uh, support. Uh, and then she's also really uh, heavily involved in the sustainability uh, for, from a technical side. So uh, Avery Dennison's sustainability goals are, are key for us, uh, being net zero by 2050 and uh, reducing our greenhouse gas emissions by 70% by 2030 uh, are, are big for us. So if you have any sustainability challenges, 
uh, Abby will be a huge resource uh, to, to kind of help you, uh, you know, align with our goals as well. Uh, next, we have Jenna Miles. She is uh, been with the team. She's been around industry for a while, especially in coatings. Uh, she's been with the team for about three or four years. Uh, she is our EBB expert. Uh, so anything uh, on the cutting edge for EV battery that we're involved in automotive, um, that's, uh, that's her specialty. Uh, and then she's also pretty heavily involved with uh, CMP, which is uh, chemical mechanical planarization, which is a, a unique market uh, that is, is growing. Uh, we're seeing growth in. Uh, next up, we have Ricardo Soto. Uh, he is the most tenured on the team. Um, he is a jack of all trades. Uh, he is our building and construction expert. Uh, and then we'll talk a little bit about uh, the PSA Academy later, but he's also our PSA Academy director. Uh, he, uh, he does a lot of the trainings. He coordinates a lot of the trainings. He's uh, developed the materials there. And if you're familiar with uh, PSTC and some of the trainings there, he's also a member of the uh, uh, performance or the PSTC training team uh, and does trainings with them uh, if you happen to go to their their seminars. Uh, and then last up, we have Chuck Stevens. Uh, he is uh, been around the tapes world for, for many years. Uh, he's actually part of our acquisition of our Mount Juliet site um, from a technical standpoint, and he's leading um, medical and advantage converters um, pretty heavily. And then he is uh, our HDD expert. Uh, so he he has the expertise and, and know-how uh, in, in to ensure we make the right products for HDD and, and the different requirements required there. So, Well, you have got a great team here. So let's talk about new product development. It's a critical initiative for our converters and for the OEMs that they support. So how does your team assist with new product development? Yep. Yeah. So you can see there at the top, uh, we have 45 years of experience. I think this is actually a little old. It's probably closer to 50 at this point. Uh, but we uh, we really follow the science to solution method. So uh, we have uh, a ton of support across the, the group, and, and you'll see that in upcoming slides. Um, but we, we've got a lot of application know-how across the different segments. Um, we are able to take what we learn maybe in one market segment and apply that to a totally different one. Uh, which has really been uh, a, a big driver for us. Um, and then, you know, we, we talk about our track record for innovation. I think last year we had 130 uh, projects that we worked on from new product development standpoint um, wow. with a, a pretty small team. So we, uh, we really um, have a heavy focus there and, and have a great track record uh, in development. Uh, one of the other things that's, that's helpful is our uh, in-house polymer science and, and development. Um, and advanced platforms. So we work really closely with our other divisions, uh, mainly the performance polymers division. Um, and we have a uh, in-house uh, uh, lab that, that we can do polymerization in-house and, uh, and, and learn new things and try to develop new adhesives uh, that, that help our customers, which is uh, unique to this site um, within the tape world. Uh, and it is pretty cool. Um, and then not only uh, do we you know push the envelope and look for new materials, um, from a raw material standpoint, um, but Avery Dennison uh, being a, a huge uh, coder of PSAs, I think they may be uh, leading the world in, in how much PSA uh, volume they coat. Um, there's a lot of process technology that goes along with that. So we leverage our, our partners across our organization um, to also learn how to do new coding techniques, new coding methods, new coding styles, um, and, and uh, drying styles and drying characteristics that they can impart unique characteristics into the tape that you can then uh, pass on to your customer. Um, mm -hmm. So that that's a nice tool that we have. Uh, in terms of capabilities and technologies, kind of already mentioned that we're vertically integrated with our polymers group out of Mill Hall PA. Um, and, and having that partnership is huge. Um, whatever they're working on um, kind of next level, we get uh, the chance to, to look at and, and work with them. And then back up the chain, we're letting them know what we are seeing out in the market, uh, what trends are out in the market, and we can help uh, drive some of that development, which is really cool. Um, yeah. The next, oh, sorry, Robin. <laughs> no, 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 go ahead. I'm, I'm just, oh. just amazing. It's impressive to me. Okay, good. Um, custom formulating, this bullet point, uh, in my opinion, is probably the, the best thing that we, we have to offer or one of the best things we have to offer from a product development standpoint. So we do a lot of our own formulating. We custom formulate. The majority of our adhesives we have a lot of different capability uh over the years um we have a ton of additives i think we we might touch that on the next slide um, but our ability to modify adhesive 
um, and, and alter the adhesive performance to exactly what a customer needs uh, has really uh, driven a lot of our uh, development and a lot of our uh, partnerships over the last 50 years or so. Uh, and I think that's really where we add a lot of value to our customers. Mm -hmm. um, in terms of uh, material science, um, we have a material science wing of our R&D group. Um, we have a, a few uh, PhDs that that's that's all they do all day. They do polymerization. Oh, you can go back uh, one, uh, Robin. Um, uh, so they they uh, they they work on the uh, you know kind of rheology. Uh, they look at the polymerization side of things, um, and then the last bullet point there: rapid prototyping. Um, I, my uh, responsibility is also in charge of our pilot coder, uh, which allows us to help uh, rapidly prototype. Um, and uh, we can go from lab scale all the way to, you know, pilot coder scale to large scale with new developments um, relatively quickly, which has been uh, huge in, in order to get the samples to customers. Okay, so you're you're blowing me away with everything that you're doing with the new product development. This leads beautifully into research and development. So how does your team support this need for converters and OEMs and who do they connect with to access this expertise? Yep, absolutely. So th this slide's great. This this shows kind of the three tiered approach we have for uh, product development and from our R&D team. Um, so the first line of defense is my team, the ATS team. Uh, they're the ones that are going to come out to you, uh, probably more, more customer facing. Uh, and they do development projects that are are what we call mix and match. So they're taking standard raw materials and and changing them, usually shorter term projects uh, from weeks to months. Uh, and they have access to you know uh, all of our different modifying additives and, and different web stocks, and they can make a whole whole laundry list of products for you uh, relatively quickly. The next tier, uh, if if it's a new raw material, that's where our new product development R and D team is is involved. Uh, they're bringing in new RAWs. They're the ones that are um, getting more involved in the analytical techniques, uh, rheology, and, and uh, some more sophisticated coding techniques uh, in order to deliver a solution that we may not have off the shelf today. And then our third tier is the material science team. Uh, there again, they're looking at more five, 10 years down the pipeline, problems that um, you know are, are going to take a little bit of time to get and may re require uh, working with multiple divisions and multiple arms of Avery Dennison to, uh, to come up with a product. And then to, to your point, Robert, or to your question on how do they get access to this team and, uh, and all the services that I'm going to talk about today, the best way to do it is to talk with your sales rep um, and let them know that, you know, if you want to let them know you were on this call today and you, you are interested in something, uh, they have access to my team. My team works very closely with them and myself included, uh, and we're able to direct um, between the salesperson and my team direct you to anywhere you need within Avery Dennison. Well, Joe, I got to tell you, I can hear your passion for what you're doing and for your team. And I'm sure the team is, is, uh, glomming on to that same passion as well. Uh, this is great. It's, it's, uh, it's been great. So in the, uh, past on Encore Live, we talked about the Painesville Innovation Center. For those viewers that are, aren't familiar with it, can you talk about the significance of this lab and some of the capabilities? Yeah, absolutely. So we're, we're very blessed here uh, at TAPES. We have a, a pretty robust lab, um, starting with our analytical uh, equipment. So we have a few DMAs uh, that helps us do rheology, gives us a fingerprint of the polymer and really helps us in development. Uh, we have TGA, DSC, FTIR. Those are more analytical techniques to uh, try and decipher what may be in a compound or in a material. Uh, those are used for development, but also uh, for quality. And then we have a few bells and whistles. One of the ones we threw on there is a vibrational beam tester. Uh, that one's used for damping tapes. Um, so we're able to uh, get a, a fingerprint of how an adhesive dampens in a specific application. That's mostly an automotive, but it's, um, you know, along with that in our flame chamber, uh, those are some of the more unique um, analytical uh, areas that we, we have. Uh, we also have on-site polymer synthesis, which I mentioned. Um, and then we have our standard TAPI laboratory. Um, if you've been around the tape world, you, you may have seen, uh, you know, a, a temperature controlled room with, with some Instrons that does some uh, peel tax shear type testing. But the big thing I want to highlight here um, is the fabrication equipment uh, in order to cus create custom test equipment. Um, I think most people can do standard ASTM peel, 
Um, you know, they can do standard shear testing and that does tell you and give you information, but really what my team does and what I've found has been really helpful is learning a, a customer's application, learning what it's going to do in the field and doing whatever we can to simulate actual performance in the field versus just a stainless steel peel uh, and giving you a value. So we actually uh, are, are very adept and we have a few pieces of equipment, including a CNC that allows us to develop uh, rigs and jigs in order to just simulate exactly what the the tape is going to be experiencing at the end user, which is really what matters. Um, highlighting the pilot coder, again, I mentioned that uh, I, I'm in charge of the pilot coder uh, as part of my position. Uh, we have uh, two really experienced operators. Actually, yesterday, we just celebrated one of their 25th uh, anniversaries here at Avery Denison. Nice. Um, and, and they, yeah, they, uh, they've been really uh, huge in, in helping us in our development uh, process and uh, they're willing to try uh, kind of any crazy idea we come up with um, and, and they usually make it work. So uh, that's a, a crucial part of our development cycle in order to get you, you know, a, a sizable sample that's not full scale um, relatively quickly. Um, our plant and lab, we're ISO certified 9001-17025 for automotive testing. Um, and then one of the other things I want to mention, this is just on our site here uh, in Painesville. Uh, right down the street in Menor, we have access to our uh, North America R&D uh, Center for Avery Denison as a whole, uh, and they put this list to shame in terms of equipment. So um, if you have specialized testing or if you have things that, that need to be tested, um, whether if it's not at this site, it's likely at a, at a local uh, site just down the road. Um, and and we, we utilize and, and work closely with that team as well. Mm. This is so, this is amazing. All right, why don't we finish up with the Avery Denison PSA Training Academy? So what is this and how can our viewers participate? Yeah, so I hinted at this a little earlier. Uh, this is Ricardo uh, Soto's, uh, I guess, baby. Um, mm -hmm. He loves to teach and loves people to learn. Um, and he kind of came up with this idea of, of creating an entire, uh, you know, uh, curriculum, if you want to call it that. We have PSA 100, PSA 200. Um, and we start with kind of like a college curriculum almost. So you have 101, 102, um, and th these are trainings that we will offer to, uh, you know, any customer, uh, we can do it on site. We can do it virtually. Um, you can come out to our lab and get a, a, a more detailed version, uh, if, if needed, but really the, the, it starts with the very basics principles of PSA. Uh, some of the folks on the line may have gotten a PSA 101 type training. That's something we've been doing for years. Um, and it really kind of gives you a, a taste of what tapes are, what they're made of, what what they can do. Uh, and then we've added to that with uh, with 102. Uh, that is more focused on what types of tapes and what type of application across different markets. So you'll see automotive, BNC, general industrial and print packaging. We try to highlight um, different applications that we currently play in and, and see uh, in those areas. Uh, and then the PSA 200 is kind of the next level if you have uh, people on your team that are even more fascinated with tapes, they want to dig in a little bit deeper. This gets a little bit more granular on types of uh, materials, face stocks, liners, um, that are carriers that are used in tapes. Uh, and then the 204 uh, is uh, tapes processing. So Ricardo uh, and along with Rob Hart have a tremendous tapes processing experience. Uh, and they, they use this as a platform to kind of share uh, different types of lamination, uh, different types of slitting, different types of die cutting, and not only what those are, but also some of the things that you might want to watch out for if you're using a tape in those uh, types of machines uh, mm -hmm. and ways that you can troubleshoot. So yeah. um, th this is a, another one where if you need or if you'd like access to this, um, it's something that you can just reach out through the sales rep, uh, your sales rep, and they'll get in contact with my team and we can schedule something. Um, and, you know, we, we also can get creative. We've done this in the past. Uh, where if you want something a little bit tailored, you don't have time to do all four of these, you want a little taste of 101, you want a little bit of 204, uh, we can modify it um, if, if it fits your audience a little bit better. Oh, great. So you can customize the uh, the training for them. Absolutely. That's awesome. That's great. Well, I love your enthusiasm, Joe. This has been a total pleasure uh, having you here with us today. Thanks for spending time with us. From all of us here at Encore Live, thank you for joining us today. Have a great summer, and we'll see you in September.